Commander, first let me show you how to attack the city. Select the largest infantry unit stack that is closest to your target. Click the attack button to issue the command to your troops and select the city you would like to attack. If you are not already at war with a country, your troops will ask you to confirm that you wish to engage in an act of war. Proceed. Note that it will take real time for your troops to arrive and engage in battle. While your other unit is engaged, let's conquer outlying provinces. Select another unit stack that has an infantry unit in its company. Click the Move button to issue the command to your infantry unit and select your destination. Note that only infantry units will conquer territory. Since it takes real time to arrive at a destination, it is essential that you give your units follow-up commands so that they don't idle. The first step is to select a unit in transit. Click the Add Target button to issue another command while identifying another target in its proximity. You can repeat this action as often as you like. Adding additional targets will ensure that your units will know what to do even when you're not on the battlefield. Commander, it is essential that you know exactly how long it will take for your troops to arrive at a destination. In this scenario, you will, as usual, select a unit stack. Now issue a command to your troops. As you give the command, you will see the arrival time posted on the map at your unit's destination. At any time, you can reference your unit's arrival time in the army bar. Make sure to coordinate your attacks accordingly. Often you will want to coordinate several units in attacking a single target. To select multiple units, press and hold the right mouse button. And drag an area around all of the units you want to mobilize. Now you are ready to issue a joint command ensuring that all units will converge on the same location. Note that your troops might not necessarily arrive at the destination at the same time. In order to get an accurate overview of the global battlefield, it is recommended that you familiarize yourself with the zooming and panning of satellite control. To zoom in on the map, scroll the mouse wheel forward. To zoom out again, scroll the mouse wheel backward. Alternatively, you can also use the zoom controls at the lower left corner. To change the satellite viewpoint, press and hold the left mouse button while dragging to any direction.